What's up guys, Sam here and welcome back to SamCraft. What you see right here beside me is a brand new machine. This is not a laser, this is different for the channel, but this one machine is about to take my business to a whole other level in a good way. That's all right guys, Sam Craft is now in the world of embroidering and this is gonna be amazing, not only for the channel, for the diversification of content, but for my own personal small businesses to be able to offer embroidery products. It's I mean, it just to another level. I'm so excited for this. So without further ado, let's jump into it. This is gonna be a very brief unboxing setup, introduction, but basically first time use and primer for you. If you don't know much about embroidery machines or if you are curious about the Smart Stitch, what you get, what it comes with and what the deal is, stick around. So what I'm going to do is show you guys some footage of when I received the machine and got it into my workshop, brought the crate in, unboxed it, assembled it and put it together. Assembly is a piece of cake. The machine largely comes assembled. All you have to do is assemble the base, thread it up, and you're good to go. But while you're watching this process, I will go ahead and tell you some tech specs about the machine. So this is the Smart Stitch S1501 embroidery machine. It is a 15 needle embroidery machine, has a maximum embroidery size of 19.7 inches wide and 13.8 inches tall or deep. The maximum working speed of this machine is 12,000 RPMs or stitches per minute, which is insanely fast. It has automatic thread break detection, a laser light for embroidery positioning, it has an LED light built in, two needle plates for different embroidery situations, has a memory of 20 million stitches or 200 designs, is suitable for a ton of different fabrics and objects such as hats, shoes, leather, finished garments, and other items. Has a built-in USB Wi-Fi adapter if you want to connect it to your home's Wi-Fi network. Operates on the standard voltages of 120 and 240, depending on where you purchase this machine. It will come pre-configured for that voltage. And has a high-definition, true color, 12-inch LCD touchscreen. The touchscreen has great clarity, great color, feels very nice whenever you touch it. It is very responsive and is a very nice feature with this machine. It makes the user interface pleasant, easy to understand, and is very nice to have. The machine itself weighs a little over 200 pounds, but the crate itself, when you get it delivered, is around 430 pounds. So it's definitely something you wanna have help with on assembly or at least lifting it onto the base when you get to that part. So guys, this machine comes with absolutely everything you need to start using it right out of the box. Everything with the exception of whatever object you want to embroider on is included. That means the machine, the roll around stand, an assortment of threads. We got 15 different needles on this machine, so you get 15 different spools. You have a toolbox full of tools and spare parts, extra box of needles. You have bobbins, a bobbin winder, lubrication for the machine, a Wi-Fi adapter, cutaway stabilizer, scissors, and all sorts of stuff. You also get a lot of accessories in the form of hoops or frames. So you get 11 of the green hoops. Some of those are doubled up sizes. So as one runs on the machine, you can have the identical one here to go ahead and load up your next piece. That is awesome. In addition to the green t-shirt hoops as they are called, but you don't have to only use them for t-shirts, you get a large aluminum frame, a table that can be mounted to the machine as needed, armrests, fixed aluminum bars for clamping everything down, but then probably the number one most popular thing right now with embroidery and what I want to get into the most is 
embroidered hats. This machine comes with a cap driver, which is what mounts onto the actual machine, a cap station for easily clamping to a work table to mount your hats to your cap rings, and two cap rings. That alone is awesome. So while a hat is running in the machine, you've got your other one you can set up on your station, get it locked down, swap and go very, very easily. All right, so with assembly done, let's talk about the extra icing on this cake. So the machine itself is great. Research proved to me machine's great. It's the one I wanted, and that was perfect, as advertised. What I was not ready for, although I had heard it from a couple of different places, was the level of customer support and training you get. Most places for training, they say, go to this website, good luck. Smart Stitch will invite you to a private Facebook group where you can join with other users, which in and of itself is amazing and a great resource for education. But then the icing is when they put you into a private group between you yourself and their tech support team and then do one-on-one -on -one training with you from there. That is really cool. Having a tech support group for this machine through direct messaging has been great. While I have not needed them a whole lot because their library resource of videos and their website has been great for me, knowing that they're there to answer questions that I have when I need them is very nice. As far as warranty, the machine itself, along with its electronics and how it operates and all that kind of stuff, is a one-year warranty through Smart Stitch. And then all of your accessories, so things like your hoops, cap station, cap drivers, all those items are a 90-day warranty. Now, it's probably worth mentioning that the warranty does not cover abuse, um, neglect, or just wrongdoings by you. They are more of a manufacturer defect style warranty, but that's still good to know that it's 90 days for these and one year for the machine. One of the most important things for me when looking into embroidery machines was company name, but also company longevity, customer support, what's the user base like, and of course price. So the Smart Stitch machine was the perfect fit for me. Its price was at a point that was affordable, yet not a cheap thing that I thought in the end would be a waste of my money. Again, this is a business thing for me. It is not a hobby per se. So this is a business class machine, yet one that is one of the more affordable ones that you can find, especially for the 15 needle machine like I have, but they also offer a 12 and a 10 needle as well. So there's a lot of different options there. Okay, while well, speaking of options, there's also ones bigger than this. There is a double head and a quadruple head machine. So Smart Stitch has really got you covered on whatever size machine you might want. Outside of price and user group, I also wanted a machine that was reputable, something that I could find parts for easily, uh, that the, didn't use a weird bobbin, didn't use a weird frame size, something that not only did the company offer me parts, accessories, and objects, but I could easily find compatible ones elsewhere from other suppliers. I've had no problem purchasing bobbins, thread spools, needles, frames, any of that stuff. It is easy to find, they are standard sized, and you're good to go from there. So all of that is great for the machine and physical components, but as far as consumables, yep, Smart Stitch has you covered there as well. They have a brand that is called Bro Thread or New Bro Thread. It's one of the two, you're seeing it here. But this is the place, same company, that allows you to purchase your thread, your bobbins, your other consumable products, accessories, things you're going to need through them as well. So that is awesome. It is kind of a one-stop shop for machine, consumables, and everything you need to use it from a day-to-day -day operation. All right, let's go ahead and do a project, right? Because that's probably what you're really here for. I have what is known as a flower sack towel. It was like a dollar and 80 cents from Walmart. Very, very easily found and something that is easy to play around with, learn, but not cry too much when you mess it up as you're learning how to use the machine. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to load this up. We're gonna do the Samcraft brand on this. Why not? So let's go ahead and run through that and then I'll bring you guys back to show you other designs that I've done. So we'll put down the base. We'll put down our tearaway stabilizer. And with our towel, I want the design right here. So I'll unfold it and place the towel right where we want it. Once we have the placement correct, we'll take the second part of the frame 
and we'll push it right down. There we go. Once you have it where you want it, go ahead and tighten this up down here. Clamp the bottom part of the frame. And then we are good to go. We can load this into the machine now. So one thing to note with the frame, they have a little notch. The notch goes to the right and goes in first. So we'll put it here. I'll make sure I'm pulling the fabric out of the way. It doesn't catch on anything. Push it in and it locks into place. One last check of the back, making sure we're clear and we are good on loading the frame. Here on the screen, we're gonna tap on the folder icon. We're gonna choose our design. This one is this. Do the green check mark to say yes. At this instance, I need to rotate it so that it is in the correct orientation on the towel. So I'm gonna press on this black letter F up top until it rotates the image just like I like. You'll get the preview up top. Once you're happy with that, you click on the green check mark. Now I wanna choose the correct frame. So I'm gonna tap on this icon down here bottom left. Now I have all of the frames that are saved on the machine. This one is the 160. So green check mark, check mark. Now it's finding the origin of the frame. It's moving around on the machine. So it looks good. So go ahead and exit. Now we have picked our frame, we've picked our design. Last thing I want to do is center the design inside the frame. So for that, we're tapping on the button that says home. We're gonna choose this option down here at the center. It says automatically find the design origin. And that centers it in the frame. That is good. Now we want to choose our colors for the design. So tap on any of these squares at the top right. It shows your design and however many numbers of spools you have listed here are your number of colors you can choose. For this one, we only have one color, so we can only choose one. So let's go for the navy blue. That looks good. Green check mark. We're done with our settings. We've got our design, we have our frame, we have it centered, and we have our colors. So now I'm going to click on the pink icon on here to confirm embroidery state. It's going to ask me if I want to make sure. Yes. And now we have our design up top. This is your last chance to preview it. Make sure it's laid out like you want. Otherwise, the next thing to do is press the green start button down here. But before I do that, I'll get you guys set up so you can watch the show. And just like that, we have ourselves a custom embroidered Samcraft flower sack towel. Now, if you look closely at the design, you'll see how it did kind of pull the thread, it did, or rather pull the fabric of this towel. The tension on this design is designed for a more robust fabric than these flower sack towels. So that is the fault of the digitization or the user choosing a different material than what the file was digitized for. It's not a fault of the machine. But it gives you an overall idea. So back here on the back, we have our backing or our stabilizer and it's called tear away because you literally just tear away the excess, the leftovers, pick out the middle bits and it's super easy to clean up. Now we get the fun part of Sam figuring out how in the world to fold this towel back this is a skill that I'm going to have to learn. I'm sure my wife will love. At least I will finally learn how to fold things, I guess. But if I can roughly get this back in place, let you guys see the finished result. 
Yeah, wonderful fold job, right? <laughs> Either way, there we have it. A Sam Craft flower sack towel, straight out of the workshop. Well guys, what'd you think? Yeah, I kind of messed up by using a file that was digitized for a different fabric on this kind of really stretchy, loose woven fabric. But hey, it was an example, something to show you guys here on site. That is one important thing to note though, as I've learned and gotten into the world of embroidery, file types really matter. So that's a whole other can of worms we'll go into later. In addition to the towel, which we just made, the machine itself comes with a hat on it. It shows you, yes, the machine, your machine, my machine, did make this hat, so that is awesome. As far as real life products, I have a canvas tote bag here with a nice embroidered saying there. It says to be kind. That one was requested by my wife, and I think it turned out pretty nice. And then I've also spent a lot of time running through cutaway stabilizer. So this whole stack is nothing but cutaway stabilizer that I'll put into a frame double thick and run designs through to test them. So here is that same B kind. That's how it turned out on my test. I have other things such as playing around with a logo for our other channel and other business we have. That one needs some more work, but this was me completely digitizing it myself and has a lot to learn there as far as my operation. Another example is this graphic here and how it is kind of a 3D effect, although it wasn't using any kind of foam puff. It's just the way the design was digitized with the satin stitches. So that one turned out very nice. I've got things such as funny quippy sayings, something like that as far as a mother's love being unconditional. And then things for sports parents like baseball mom, book readers, flower-aholics, people that need reminders, family members that need encouragement in the home, and of course, our favorite cryptologist. So as you guys can see from here, I have a stack of, well, you know, stabilizers, tests, right? So it's so much easier and cheaper to use up a stabilizer on a design than actually load an actual physical item in there and see, oh, that wasn't correct. Ugh, I don't like that. Or, well, close, but not quite there. So having a ton of cutaway stabilizer is number one on my list of must-have items or objects as you learn or just in general. Anytime you got a new design, run it through there, it's a lot cheaper. So there you have it guys. There's the first look, the whole unboxing setup, what it is, what you get, and all that kind of stuff about the Smart Stitch machine. If you got questions or comments, leave them for me down below. If there are specific things, specific videos, projects, ideas, whatever, if you want to know, leave a comment down below as well. I'll put it on my to-do list and I'll make a video for you guys. If you're interested in getting a Smart Stitch or want to just learn more about it, there is a special link in the description below. It is not a kickback link. It doesn't monetarily help me at all, but it does tell the company you came from my video to them and that's information they're wanting to know. So if you don't mind, click that one and then go check out all the cool stuff. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys next time in the workshop. You guys didn't really think that I would show you this embroidery machine without showing you do a hat. Now, disclaimer, this is the first hat I've ever done on the machine. I didn't do any off camera. I didn't, uh, you know, wizard oz it or nothing. This is the first one I've ever done. So go ahead and take it off the frame. We'll inspect it and see how it worked out. Um, another disclaimer, this is a file that I digitized myself and I am learning the skill of digitization. So. There are some oopses on that, which is not the machine. It is the digitizer, this guy. However, check this out. 
the first embroidered Sam Craft hat from the Sam Craft Workshop. Stick around to see more of this, guys. This one is just the first, but there will be many, many more to come, as well as how-to videos, tips and tricks videos, as I learn this new skill even more. Appreciate you watching, as always. If you got any questions or comments, leave them for me down below. Otherwise, take care, and I'll see you guys next time in the Sam Craft Laser and Embroidery Workshop.